about radio. Hi guys, uh, you know I had this uh, issue with uh, the length of this rotor arm and I've actually drilled three different holes uh, at this pivot point and um, it, it's, it's fine now but I, I wanted some way that to make this arm adjustable uh, that didn't involve a lot of uh, machine work. I think I've got a, a simple solution that hopefully anybody can uh, reasonably make with, uh, with a, a limited workshop. The problem is I have the motor shaft there and uh, I've got the rotor which is this uh, block of aluminium there and I've got the hole in the end there and um, I want that distance to be adjustable and um, w without a lot of machining and without a lot of effort and what occurs to me is that uh, as this thing sweeps in a, a circle if I can draw a circle there let's pretend that's uh, a circle so, uh, as this sweeps round there um, if we look at that and say well I want that hole to be either further up here or further down there what I can do is simply bolt another block of material at the side so I'm going to take another piece of uh, aluminium and uh, give it a bit of length there and um, that pivot point I'll if uh, I'll take the starting point for that uh, there and I'm going to bolt that to the side of this. So I'm going to drill uh, two holes through here and I'm going to put a bolt through there so they'll be clearance holes there and there and then I'll drill two holes in here and uh, they'll go all the way through and I will tap those holes. All of the little bolts I'm using are uh, M4 by the way, 4mm bolts. Um, they'll go through there. Then I'll drill a, a third hole in this one, and again that'll be a clearance hole. And I'll put a, a bolt, no it won't, I'll drill a hole through there and that'll also be tapped M4. And what'll happen, this bolt will go through here and it'll stick out and it'll strike there. So what will happen is I'll bolt this onto the side of there so those two bolts will go through there and, and they want to hold the block in that direction um, uh, the heads of my bolts there and then this bolt I will use to push the block in that direction okay so by adjusting those two and then locking the position with that one I'm able to move this block in that direction or that direction don't need a lot of movement my pivot hole is uh, so that hole is going to be there and I'll set that such that when it's fully uh, against this that effectively that hole is below that starting point of that, that radius and when it's further away it will be effectively above that. So I don't know if you quite follow what I mean there so if we take that line there that's my pivot point the same as there that's my motor point the same as there uh, I've got a, a radius that, that strikes through if I have something that moves at 90 degrees to that line there so my hole is there can be either there or as it moves at 90 degrees it'll be there so I need to move that hole away from that center line um, I hope that's clear um, but anyway, that's that's what I think I'm going to do. So I've just got to cut myself a piece of aluminium and drill one, two, three, four, five, six holes. 
So that's uh, my original rotor, and uh, you remember I uh, <laughs> I cut three holes uh, in there to get it right, and it was this one uh, that was working in the last video when I was working with that hole. Okay, I've got the first hole in there, and uh, just get a bit closer for you. So. From, one boon is measuring from uh, the edge of that hole to the center of that one so if that's there and then with those two blocks side by side if I put fitted the block there then you can see that the, that length is the same in both cases or near enough the same so as I move that block away I'll move the bigger one away so you can see now that distance from the center of the motor shaft to there has increased. Just knock it all over the place just to confuse you. So I can have it there and as I move away so you see effectively it's increased. So what I'm going to do is um, if that's my position that I know is good it's hard to do this and see the camera. Let's get back into the middle of the screen. Um, if I know that distance is what I, where I want to start from, that length, if I start with my um, hole, with this hole at a shorter distance there, then as I, um, as I move it this way, so that'll increase. So what I'll do is I'll just put a little mark across there. I ought to do this with a square, but uh, I'm not going to. Um, so I'll just put a mark there, that's my alignment and then what I'll do now is I'll, dr I'll start drilling holes through those uh, there. I'll drill one, bolt it together and then drill the others because I know if I, uh, if I drill the holes, three separate holes, I'm um, oh, sorry, two separate holes in that one, um, I know they'll be <laughs> not quite the places that I need them to be in. Uh, it's very tricky to uh, hold this in the vise and get the, the, that line lined up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a bit of sellotape over there. And believe it or not, that'll be enough to just lock those two together in the in the right place because it's 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 movement that way and that way uh, that would be a problem. So now I can clamp that. Just drill through there. And uh, sorry, am I getting that? I uh, hope I'm getting that. But those two lines there should be something like in line. Okay, I've got my hole drilled and tapped in the rotor arm. I've drilled a clearance hole through the uh, little add on block. And, um, let's have a look where are those lines those are the two lines there and uh, let's just uh, pop that in there something like okay so you see those two lines line up there and um, just again at the risk of labor in this um, from the edge of this hole, because that's what it's easy to measure, to the center of the, the one which I know was the right distance that's there. And you can see that now this, um, this new hole is at the shorter distance. And when I undo this a little bit, remember I'll have my other screws pushing this out. Um, so now you'll see that that distance is greater than that distance so that's that's what I set out to achieve um, what I, it's about now that I'm beginning to realize that probably I haven't got too much space here because I've got to get another hole uh, drilled and tapped in there and uh, um, there's not a lot of space but there's enough so uh, enough is adequate I'm oh, sorry uh, I've got my uh, clearance holes drilled in that block there and uh, these screws are so close together that the heads were just kissing one another so what I've done 
is that I didn't put them in the lathe, I just stuck them in the pedestal drill and held the file at the side of them just to uh, to give them a, a little bit of clearance there, so that's that's adequate. Got my three holes drilled and tapped in the upper little block here. And, uh, that'll go in there, I'll cut these off to uh, the appropriate uh, length when the when I get to that sort of condition. Um, so that those two will set the uh, the distance uh, there and this one will go through and that pushes the block that way so now that block can't move. Um, these, uh, these screws they're, they're actually uh, they're actually in contact uh, with one another. I, I should have um, used a, a smaller screw. Uh, these are four mil, um, so I've used up twelve mil of a, of a very short arm. But uh, anyway, um, I'll uh, I'll trim these bolts off to the appropriate length, and um, I'll also whip that uh, that bit off, and um, uh, assemble it and show you it working. Well, just for the record. Uh, as near as I can say there from the center there to the one that we know was good is 20 millimeters um, and at the moment as near as I can say that is about mm, what should we call that 22 um, something like 21 and a half or thereabouts if I close it up so that would be putting that one So now, again, as near as I can say, that is, what should we call that, 19 and a half mil. So, um, that should give me adequate adjustment. Okay, so you saw the concept, what I set out to make, and uh, that's what I've actually made. And uh, it actually looks something like what I set out. Very often I start these things, and um, let's say I pick up something from the junk box or something else occurs to me along the way and um, if I'd have, I could have planned this better let's say these holes uh, remember this one's got three threaded holes in it and they are in fact overlapping but what I didn't want to do was I didn't want to break through um, that thread into the shaft hole for the motor and uh, likewise I didn't want this thread to break through into uh, that hole for the pivot um, and with hindsight I could have moved this this bolt uh, a little bit further up towards there but I didn't and the only reason I've done this is so that anybody else um, seeing this on YouTube can learn from it and um, save them making the first lot of mistakes uh, that I made um, so uh, if you have other ideas or if you, if you make one of these and uh, do it in some way different uh, I'd be very pleased to see you. So after all that I'm back to where I started from but hopefully I've uh, given you a, a mechanism that uh, you can copy uh, easily and um, uh, just reproduce it. Um, so I'd love to hear from anybody that uh, has a go at uh, copying this or, or uh, improving it because I'm sure there will be uh, plenty of other ways of achieving the same thing but um, I just thought that was worth doing because again I know if I don't do it uh, immediately then um, I'd simply accept it for what it is and move on to the next thing. Okay thanks for uh, watching guys um, bye bye. Oh I had a question uh, about uh, the slow speed nature of it and uh, at the moment that's running at 12 volts and I'll turn that down to um, that's, that's about two and a half volts there um, so I think that's that's reasonably slow um, it's certainly going to be slow enough for me remember this is a 12 volt motor I'll just reverse that and I'll lower the volts down to 2 volts
I'm reading the two volts off an analog meter on the power supply and it's um, I think it's reasonably accurate but that is really just crawling you